naked. The other mom's a Cajun queen. No swimming. Who's going to put this family's staunch vegan values to the test. I was worried about the kids. And they're not the only ones she rubs the wrong way. We don't want to see them killed. It's just the way life is. This mom's attempts to control this bio brat. If you're not going to be nice to me, you're not going to get to do fun things around here. Are going to come back to bite her. It's a swap that's a war of wills. I'm going to go ahead and do it my way. From minute one. There's not a chance in hell. And it starts. It's a no, 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 you look. I'm about to pull my hair out. Right now, two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but what they don't know is that the new mommy will decide how they spend the money. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? I used to do everything she would ask me to do. Diego, did you get a rabbit for me? When I turned around and finished school and looked for a man in my village, there were no guys, and I wasn't going to take any with baggage. So I had to go to the next generation down. In that generation, Diego was the best candidate. And thank God, too, because God surely gave me the best guy I could ever ask for. <laughs> my wife's real, real calm, and she'll help you no matter what the circumstances are. When the tourists come to the business, I pride myself in meeting them at the front door and making everybody enjoy themselves. Viva la France, restez les bon temps roulé, and no swimming. Swamp tour is where people okay. come and they take a boat ride on the bay and they look at the alligators and the birds and the turtles. I have one little boy, his name is Zamariah, and he's a handful, <laughs> to say the least. I've been messing with gators. I like fishing and I like going hunting and snakes. Handle them with care. You know, Zizi's rambunctious. When he misbehaves, he misbehaves. So you promise me you're not gonna ever do that again? No. Yes. So yes. what punishment do you think I ought to do? No fishing. No fishing? I get in trouble so much that I, I can't even count how many times I got in trouble. The new wife may not have no control over Zimmerai at all. <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> I'm a very passionate person. That's probably why I am so involved in trying to make the world a better place for animals. I'm an animal rights activist, and I keep a vegan household. No eggs, all the flavor, all the health. Yeah, baby. It really needs to be a priority that I prepare a lot of the food myself and make sure that it's healthy. Soy cheese, not yeah. cow cheese. Meatless pepperoni. You're scary. I'm saving trees, Jack. We're trying a new lifestyle, and we're some of the first people to do it. Leather stinks, animals are not fabric. Wear your own damn skin, thank you. Yeah. We try to abstain from hurting animals at any level. Super comfy. And they're vegan. No yeah. To make those shoes. Yeah. Did you just eat off of this? You know what? Stop, I should stop, give this stop. to <laughs> Jack, are you listening? I'm kind of old fashioned when it comes to discipline, and I have very high expectations for my kids. Take over the whole. Nah, uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Think about 
about it. Sometimes she wants everything perfect. Hey, look. See the mess? This is unacceptable. My mom screams at us and stuff when we get in trouble. No, no, no. Divide it in half. Count them up. You need two circles. It's Do you want my help equal. or don't you? I like it better if she would just mellow down and not be so mad. Come here, kitty, kitty. You can walk the kids to school. All right. But you have to take Betty. Okay. Jim? Yeah. You promise you'll take Betty? Yes. Okay. I've been married to Jim for 12 years, but I always think of it as 19 because it took him seven years to marry me. She gave me an ultimatum. She said, I want a ring on my finger. And she wore me down, and that was it. Now we got family and a million animals, and things have changed. And this has our omega-3s we need. Yeah, it's tough being a vegan. But Barb wanted to do it, and uh, I got outvoted. And it's been eight years now. And I think if I took a bite of a burger, my body would go into shock. You make the green juice. What we had for breakfast this morning was a green juice. I couldn't tell you what's in it, but it's supposed to make you live forever. Trust me, it doesn't taste that good, but it's okay. I haven't ate a piece of meat in my life. I would say that my family's very courageous, and you know, I tell my kids we're like pioneers. Ready? Does that look good? This is going to be the first night away from my child and my husband ever. It was very scary and very stressful because of the fact of not knowing. <laughs> ZZ thinks it's funny right now, but this is going to get him to appreciate me a little more. But before I come home, you'll be crying. You want to make a bet? $50,000. Your $50,000. <laughs> I am not going to miss my mom for a week. Too bad it couldn't be two months. Can't y'all change it till two months? So you have to get up. got up early this morning, and uh, nobody in the family said goodbye. <gasps> What I hope my children learn, I guess the like obvious answer is to say, I hope they learn to appreciate me. I'm worried about the, having another woman in my house. I hope she doesn't belittle our life and in the pit of my stomach, I hope she's really ugly. <laughs> a little bit. I think I'm gonna miss Diana a whole lot, but I know deep down inside that Diana could handle herself no matter where she goes. Hey, I don't know where to keep that. I was worried about Diego when I left because Diego is so kind that he can't hardly even say no. So a lot of times, if I'm not with him, the people will take full advantage. Oh, baby. Have fun, okay? Just have fun, no matter what. I love you. Love you, too. Okay, bye. Keep her fingers crossed. If the new mom be stubborn and fight us the whole way. I'm a little bit nervous because this is all new and I don't know what to expect. When I came up the escalator, I was a little cautious and a little nervous. Mystery's over. <laughs> I'm telling you, and thank goodness uh, I got myself a good-looking new husband here. So I guess the next thing to do then would be to get my luggage down to your view. Yeah. Yes. Good job. 
good chance it rolls. Oh, good. All right. The men from the south, they'll carry your luggage. And I thought it would be nice if I had a gentleman that would have southern hospitality. It's not that hard. I know. Okay. okay. If I did that, I'd be yeah. attraction. Really? around for somebody that looks lost in the airport. Hey, how you doing? Are you my my new husband? Yeah, my <laughs> name's Diego. What's your name? Diego. Diego, nice to meet you on Barbara. Nice to meet you too. You weren't at all what I was expecting. <laughs> when I first saw him in the airport, I was scared to death. He looked like a combination between a heavy metal rock star and a Oh, who's the guy with the long hair? Fabio. So you had a good flight coming down? Um, okay, first of all, I gotta ask you, what is this your accent? What, it, it, I've never heard, is this a Louisiana accent? Yeah, born and raised down here. Down here? Yeah. <laughs> Do you live right on the swamp then? Oh, yeah. We cook gumbo and shrimp creole and all you could eat. Yeah. We've been vegan ever since uh, Lucy was born. One time. Yeah. I learned that the family is vegan, and come to find out, vegan is the vegetables and no meat, but also no dairy products. Oh, God. My freezer is just meat. No freezer, <laughs> <laughs> no vegetables at all. As far as whether she's going to be able to hang in there with a vegan diet, we'll have to play that one by ear. driveway I saw a beautiful residence the whole property was beautiful that's Diana hello Sha. and this is Lucy Lucy well good I'm looking forward to having some fun with y'all Mrs. Luke said y'all it's really weird boy you did this landscape yeah we just don't have anything like this at all anywhere in Louisiana I wouldn't give this up for anything in the world if this was my home. Well, thank you. When we first drove up, my impression was I was relieved because it wasn't a shock. Are you Zamariah? Yep. I'm Barbara. Nice to meet you. What a gentleman coming over here to shake my hand. You're a big kid. You seem very mature, too. When I came through the door, I was baffled. My goodness. Look at this fancy house. I was bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. This sprawling home seemed so foreign and strange to me. You know, I don't feel like that is a home. I feel like it's a bit of a museum. This is my room. I get this all to myself. That you never been in a place this big without paying. You are <laughs> absolutely right. And my new mother strict. I'm gonna just deal with my hair, deal with school, deal with homework, deal with the spaghetti. And every chance I get, I'm going fishing, and I'm not coming back until midnight. Now I'm gonna warn y'all about what this is before I give it to you because you might not like it. So how y'all feel about having some mounted alligator heads? I was excited about giving them alligator heads because it's a typical product from not only my culture and not only from Louisiana, but from my family because that's the business we're in. Here's one. And I take the teeth and the feet and I make jewelry and keychains. I would really have wanted it because I love animals. There you go, Chef. But she was giving it to me for free. Lucy, for right now, I'm going to give you the little bitty one. I thought that was really mean to the alligators, but I, I like the present. Thanks. Thank you. You're more than welcome, Shad. You're more than welcome. 
I was worried about the kids because they'd never seen anything like that before. I could just tell that they were trying to figure out whether they should be enjoying these things or not. And I brought you this one for you. There you go. Yeah. So this is yours? Oh, wow. And the biggest head was pretty creepy. No wonder that bag was so heavy. When she broke out those uh, alligator heads, uh, I thought it's going to be a tough week for Barb. You never seen a real live gator, have you? Um, no. Not? Oh. Zizi was excited to show me the alligators that lived behind the house. Oh my god. What I wasn't prepared for was the massive collection of these skulls. I was surprised to find out that there are literally, I would guess, tens of thousands of these alligator heads. And the stench back there was pretty much overwhelming for me. And I'm sad and shocked that Diego could kill all those crocodiles. Yes. Oh. They're littered on the ground. They're hanging on the fence. They're piled on shelves. It's like a mass grave. It's like a holocaust of alligators. Today, I woke up, and I wasn't exactly sure what to do with myself. <laughs> so I decided to explore outside the house. The situation for the animals is disheartening. They're in little tiny cages and it just seems like such an assault. Such an abomination on nature. God. I haven't told Zizi or Diego that I'm vegan yet. I'm just waiting for the right time. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. It's easy. Hey, hey, it's easy. I'm tired. Come on, there's a lot to do. Come on, get up. It's easy. Wanted to sleep in this morning. At my house? We don't do that. Ugh. I mean it. I'm gonna count to five. One, two, three, four. It's hard to get up in the morning. I'm just about ready to go buy some earmuffs. For you. You're supposed to have your fruit 20 minutes before you have any other food. So that's why I always we always drink our fruit smoothies the first thing in the morning. How is it? It's great. Lo and behold, he liked it. And that was a nice feeling. I didn't really care for it too much. I'm not really looking forward to eating real healthy. When I got up this morning, I said, wow, I couldn't believe that I was here. This is all so new to me. Um, um, can I fix y'all a breakfast or anything this morning? I wanted to do something special for the kids because they don't really know what it's like to eat non-vegan foods. I bet you're hungry for either carrot cake or pie something that you're not supposed to have. <laughs> I never eat non-vegan food. And I'm sure my mom would be mad. I know it's against the rules normally, but it's pretty healthy. It's, it's more healthy than Skittles. I was thinking a pie for breakfast. It, a little weird. I don't think she realizes what being vegan is. Lucy, this yeah. will be your only chance. You might not get pie for breakfast ever again. They're fine. I was surprised that they didn't even want to eat it. These children need to have some fun. Maybe I can show them in a different way. How about you make us a smoothie? This morning when I took Bob around the swamp tour, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is just showing Barbara the swamp and explain how the people live their life and hunt the alligator. How you doing? The bayou you riding on is called Bayou Buff. You see the 
way you would hunt the alligator, you would take a rope about 10 foot long, and you would take one end, and you would look for a limb hanging over the water, and you would tie it to the limb, and they'll come up and bite it. And when you come there and you pull on the rope, the head will surface to the top, and you have to try to hit him between the eyes, because if you don't hit him between the eyes, they have the brain size of a quarter. Listening to Diego give the swamp tour, it was very, very painful. Hunting is so intensely cruel from beginning to end. It is an unnecessary evil. You can still live healthfully and happily and spiritually without killing an animal. And they'll give you a dollar fifty for a regular water snake. And you wouldn't be able to make enough money to raise a family. But you can make enough money to get drunk on the weekend if you was unemployed. Et le monde se prend le cible de cipres, il se coupe ce fin pirou. Ah? Et il se pousse à travers la terre de plairie. Et il se chasse les ragodins. Les ragodins, c'est juste un gros rat qui reste dans l'eau de l'eau. Someplace fancy. All right. I'm really excited to show Barbara a real good time and the way the people eat down in Louisiana. Hi. Hi. I took Barbara to a little restaurant where they have the best Cajun dishes in Louisiana. I'm sure that ZZ and Diego think I eat this kind of food all the time. I still haven't told them that I'm vegan. Yeah, I think Barbara's gonna enjoy the food. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Crawfish stew, shrimp stew, fried alligator. Apparently, Cajun food is everything that creeps and crawls in the bayou. Everything. Do you guys eat alligator very often? Yeah, every now and then. For the novelty of it, or does it taste really good? Yeah, it's really, really good. It's a stark contrast to California cuisine. I mean, a, it's glaringly obvious that we're a lot healthier. Do you guys eat frog legs? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the real poor good. frogs. You want to try some? No, I like looking at your frogs that you had at home. It's not the frogs you're thinking about. This is like a real big frog. Like the size of a chicken? Nah, yeah, not the size of a chicken. About the size of a... Yeah, like the size of a chicken. Are you ready to order? Give me the turtle sauce pecan. Nobody eats turtle in California. Nobody. Clean in California, yeah. in Louisiana. Crawfish and crawfish stew. And one more thing. Yeah. Frog legs. You have frog legs? No. Do you think you're going to be able to eat all that easy? I got the frog legs for Barbara. You got them for me? Yeah. Oh. Is there any way I could get the salad bar instead? Here's the deal. Have you figured out, like, what's unique about my family yet? No. You haven't? No. And we're vegan? Have you ever heard that word? Mm -hmm. We try not to eat or use anything that comes from an animal. Because we just, we don't have to. Mm, mm. The is good. So long as we have a choice, we're going to choose compassion over killing. <laughs> so the point is, from my point of view, um, my salad bar and, and all that is just a really good, healthy, compassionate choice. Did you need more to drink? Yeah. You know what? Wait a minute. You had a one giant soda. Don't you think that's enough soda for the day? Yeah, give me some soda's, water. Soda's, soda's bad. Soda's really bad. ZZ could stand to lose a little weight. You're probably going to die when you're 40 if you keep eating like that. When the good Lord wants to take me, he'll take me. <laughs> I'm not really sure if Barbara respects the way we live, but this is part of the way people live down here in Louisiana. Look at your meals. You guys don't have a single vegetable here. Are you planning on ordering a vegetable? No. You know, we need two more salad bars. Okay. Cancel that. He doesn't need that. Sorry. Please. Okay. Thanks. Smarty pants. Zizi, what do you think, bro? We're gonna make it all wet.
be a, a hard thing for me to do to decide how the family, how this family should spend their money. This is, I guess this is difficult because right now you're asking me to really. And that I, I don't really want to do it. That's a heavy burden for one person to make all the decisions and for one person to have to live with those decisions. Zizi seems to be able to drink soda with no discretion. Well, having a lot of sodas and fried foods and all of that, I don't think that his little brain and body is getting the ideal nutrition. The soda thing is something we got to work on. Huh? Listen. Are you paying attention? Listen to me. Today, we're going to try to go a whole day without soda. What's in it for me? <laughs> Your body will feel better. Your bones won't get brittle and weak. Barbara told me I won't be able to eat my soda drinks anymore. It's so frustrating. I don't get jack squat. Cycle bin, like right outside the door here. So, right here. Come here. Zizi. Me and Zizi we invited a few friends and family and we'll come over to the swamp tour and meet Bob Brand and show Barbara and the way the people live down in Louisiana. At the party, I was looking at things, and in Cajun country, it's really apparent that there's not an emphasis on health. And I would like to change that. I'm into healthy stuff. That's kind of like my thing. I'm vegan. We don't we don't use anything have to do with the animals. We don't eat them or wear them or use them in any of our household products. At the party, there were many, many opportunities where I could introduce some of the concepts of veganism. I'm a vegan, I don't eat any animal products whatsoever. I heard there's a health food store here. You can um, buy your like shampoos and toothpaste and household products and personal products there. Just because this girl came here and, and she's like a salesman. And y'all gotta kill, I don't know how many trees to clear land to make a garden. And then I realizing that they're hurting the uh, economy because they have to clear land to make gardens to grow a certain amount of land to feed all these people. And they would actually throw the whole economy of life off. But red meat, what you need. <laughs> the body needs that. I think I've planted seeds. I hope I'm raising a little bit of awareness because the decisions that they're making are really, really bad for them. So one of the things we're trying with ZZ is no soda for the day. Oh, you are so Oh, good. my gosh. Yeah. Did you have any soda today? Look at me in the eye. No. See? You can live without it. Jim had told me that I was going to be going to a vegan potluck with a couple of Barb's friends. This is something that she does often, so I was nervous. I didn't feel like my carefree self. I thought it was going to be just four girls. <laughs> Turns out that it was a whole living room of women. She has a lot of friends, huh? Yeah. It caught me by surprise. Where are you from? Louisiana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I run a swamp tour, but I get people from all of the United States. When a Californian walks in, immediately I would say, you gotta be from California, because Californians have 
have this glow. It's like they look 10 years younger. I saw that the women were healthy and attractive. All those skinny girls, you'd look at them and you'd say, man, they must never eat because they don't eat any meat at all. Would you do me a favor? Would you give me that bag right there where you're standing in the corner? Yeah. to give things that belong to our culture. So the first thing is the voodoo dolls. So uh, the second thing is uh, airbrush t-shirts. And then or a few of the alligator heads. We try to educate people about living a cruelty-free lifestyle. And none of us wear leather. We don't wear fur. We're the ones that protest the circus. We catch and release bugs. We value all life. It was a pretty intense situation because here you had 15 or 20 women who are activists. There's too many alligators in Louisiana, so they do have a control harvest, and they process them, and they throw these parts away. So I recycled them, so that's why these came about. She did say that she's recycling them, but I personally wouldn't go down to the pound and take the dog's heads and give them away as souvenirs. I wouldn't take it, even though it was a gift, just because it was an alligator head. We don't want to see them killed. We want to see them taken care of, even the wildlife. What I do is necessary, just the way life is. I didn't make it that way. So it's unanimous that I should bring that third gift. Uh, <laughs> the gators back Yeah. Yeah. OK, I'm going to take my gifts proudly. I tried as hard as I could. I learned their lifestyle, and I expressed my own. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. Today, we took Barbara to New Orleans. We're going to show the whole town of the French Quarter, the River Walk, and the restaurants. I think Barbara was overreacting. He's a kid, and a kid's gonna be a kid. Put it back. Louisiana, I remember I said, okay, let's have a quick talk. Quick little refreshing talk. Don't ask for a bunch of stuff. Be on your best behavior. Just look and enjoy. All day long, he was touching things and just driving like crazy. Demo, hush, you're being rude. I'm talking. Excuse me? That's your last warning. ZZ, ZZ, you're gonna lose your privileges. You make one more move on the grass and we don't go to the toy store. Excuse me. It doesn't matter. No, 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 you need to say, excuse me, say it. Excuse me. No, loud where he can hear it. Excuse me. We're sorry. You need to walk, watch where you're going. You wanna hear a story? Well, you're going to hear it anyways. I was your age, and I was running around the house, and I ran into my grandmother and broke her hip. You have to watch out where you're going. If that had been an old lady, you might have really injured her. Yes. Okay? the day progressed, I felt like there was some tension, some serious tension with myself and ZZ. Why are you getting a bad attitude? Are you mad about something? Oh, yeah. What are you mad about? My mom didn't just pull me in front of me and all the way to Kramer to say sorry. You need to say, if you bump into somebody, you need to say excuse me and they need to hear it. You did something wrong, you've apologized. Be 
because Barbara's overstepping was easy. Do you think you learned your lesson? Nope. You know, that's the, that's the kind of mouthy behavior that's going to get soap in your mouth. I miss my real mom. I just want to go back to my old life. Since I've been here, we've been eating salads every meal. You, you want to have a salad? I, um, I wasn't going to, I mean, I could. I could have a small salad, Jim. I don't know how to tell them I hate salad. I'll hand you some stuff, and you can put whatever you want on there and call it good. I don't want to offend them in any kind of way, but I'm tired of this vegan thing. I'm gonna go pick some tomatoes. Do you like tomatoes? Yes. Okay, I got some going in the garden. I'm gonna fix some of those. What does he eat on the mushroom? How does he make it taste better? Just plain? I don't know. I, uh, like, what do you do? Like, sometimes we have salad dressing. I don't think she does a lot of cooking, from what I can tell. At least, uh, making salads. Can you help me? Because I'm kind of lost here. You make it all in a bowl and just put it on plate. What is this? Those are sprouts. Do you cut this off and throw it, or you just cut it in half, or you slice it, or what do you do with the mushrooms? <laughs> I tried to be a good sport about it, but I don't know if I can handle all of this. I don't know if I've ever met anybody that eat only vegetables. I thought, oh lord, I'm gonna eat grass all week. I'm gonna starve to death. Now I've been here three days, and I've been open to their lifestyle, but I realized that they needed to change, or I'm just going to starve to death. We're going to have a full party tomorrow night. <laughs> when Jim said we're going to have a little party, I was thinking, here's my opportunity to get the kids to try some meat. I love meat. <laughs> Tomorrow, uh, I should be able to just be able to cook something. Okay. And I'd like to cook something Cajun. But what, when, when Barb throws a party she in, cooks in her house, she, yes. Because I'm having to make it vegan, and it's not going to be good. It'll be good. If that's, if it's just, if that's well, the only well, thing that's, it's good. So. I would want those people to say, wow, that's a gumbo and a half. You know yeah. what I mean? That's a good gumbo. Well, I'll bet these people have never had gumbo in their life. Yeah, but that's the problem, see? If anybody tried to put any red meat in front of this, we'd walk away from the table. There's not a chance in hell we're going to have the real gumbo. I'm sorry, but I'm going to go ahead and do it my way. It's going to be my way or the highway. When we were in New Orleans, Cece was raging out of control. I think that Diego and Diana have made some mistakes. I would have been a better parent had I had ZZ. And now I really need to follow through on the discipline. My mom was totally the opposite of her. My new mom says, I mean, I want to punch Miss Barbara light out, but I need to punch it, punch the mouth. You can be totally honest. Do you, do you think I've been rude or mean to you? No. Why do you think it's okay for you to get away with being rude to me? You don't want me to be in charge? No. Why do you keep spitting? It's a Louisiana thing. Well, stop. We don't do that back in California. Stay with me here. Stay focused. It's easy. His inattentiveness is a bad habit that is going to take a, a long time to undo. You know, and I'll be totally honest with you, the last couple days, I feel like I've been trying to be real nice to you. I've been trying to be nice to you, and sometimes I'm just thoughtless. The reason why I told my mom about all the bad stuff that I did is because that gets me a little off the hook. Well, everybody's thoughtless sometimes. But and I've been thoughtless a lot, and I'm sorry. Well, thank you. I explained to 
um, ZZ, that the big guns are coming out. I'm going to take on a more motherly role. You know what's going to happen? OK, here's the deal. I'm going to make it real simple. I'm going to put it in kids' terms. Next time I think you're rude, you're going to get in trouble. I'll take away fishing. That made me feel so angry, I could have punched your light out on my own face. Easy. You know what? I'm talking to you and I feel like you're not listening. But I am. <laughs> right now, that the, the stakes aren't high enough for him to pay attention. So basically what you're telling me is, to heck with you, I'm going to do whatever I want to do no matter what. Yeah. If you're not going to be nice to me, you're not going to get to do fun things around here. You will put you in your room. I got toys in my room. You won't play with them. I'll just pick up two sticks and rub them together and take out and tell them make a fire. Gators don't sweat. I'm having to exercise a lot of patience with you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe other people don't mind when you say thoughtless things, but I do. Look. I think it's a no, 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 you look. Quit saying look. Look, you're excited that you get a new mom for a week. Hmm? Yeah. So you gotta burst out, that's all. I'm lost. All right. I try to put it like this. You're fired. Gators don't sweat. CMT has it all. Saturday night, see the premiere of a hard-hitting new series featuring celebrities as wrestlers. Welcome to the first ever CCW main event. Followed by a new episode of My Big Redneck Wedding. I got to shake my armpits last night, too. And then it takes talent, beauty, and a micro touch to make this squad. You don't want to put that body into that little tiny uniform. Wrestling, rednecks, and cheerleader tryouts. Tomorrow, starting at 8, 7 central on CMT. What more could you want? made the trading spouses switch. Good riddance. One's an avid animal rights activist. Animals are not fabric. Wear your own damn skin. Who moved in with her nightmare family. It's like a holocaust of alligators. The other mom's a Cajun queen. No swimming. Who put this family's vegan values to the test. I was worried about the kids. It was a war of wills where no one gave up. It's like, no, 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 you look. Or back down. You're fired. Boom. Now, it's our most explosive conclusion ever. Just want to get out of here. Barbara's animal love and life takes a major hit. Shame, 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 shame. And Diana's lifestyle has everyone up in arms. I killed the poison one. Why is it so hard to let things live? Then, the moms face off, and this Cajun's raging mad. Couldn't be more wrong. And families reunite, only to get the shocking news no one ever expected. I decided how they're spending their $50,000. It's the ending so twisted. 10,000 of our 50,000 is going to that? You won't believe your eyes. Nope, none for you yet. This is not what I expected. Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but what they don't know is that the new mommy will decide how they spend the money. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? sensitive sometimes. I try to put it like this. You're fired. But I came here to do a job, to be a mom, to be a good mom. You got a lot of homework? When do you usually do your homework? So I have decided to help him do his homework. You gonna go check something? Okay. That's my strong point, because I'm really smart. I think. No, I know. 
All right, sit down and do your homework while I sit and eat. Oh, my God, this is so good. Mm. Study the problems. Mm. I know the answer already. Well, let me see. I came home, we got bombarded with matter, reading, and science, and all of that. They want you to know the term plural, singular. I know it's plural and singular. It's a little more complicated. See, this one, you just need one S. The monkeys, you have to change to I-E-S. I-E-S. All right, look. If a Y and there's a vowel in front of it, mm -hmm. it always has to change to the Y-S. Mm -hmm. well, there's always rule breakers. No, it's S. You might be confused. That's it. But that's the rules. That's how Barbara should listen to me because I knew what I was doing. She didn't know, but I knew. You know what I'm talking about, okay? You need to listen, honey, because I know. S. Mm -mm. It, um, it's I-E-S. This morning, me and the kids, we decided we'd, we'd like to show Diana the beach. We want to go snorkeling with Miss Sloot because we would want her to experience how beautiful the fish are and maybe she'd decide not to eat them. And then she might become vegan. I appreciate the way they respect and love animals. During the whole snorkeling thing, I kind of started thinking about eating some good fish. Y'all hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Jim suggested that we walk down to this restaurant, which had some vegan food and also the beautiful seafood that you can only find here in California. We have our featured catch. Today, that's a grilled local sea bass. Oh, we're vegetarians. Okay. Uh, what we want is a pasta dish with vegetables on it. We like basil. Daddy, vegetarian spring rolls. And then we're going to get the spring rolls. Okay. After living as a vegetarian for a week, I just couldn't help myself. I had to get some of that California seafood. I would definitely get that uh, cra uh, crab stuffed fish. Yeah. When Mrs. Loop said she wanted the crab stuffed fish, we thought that that was pretty gross. Oh, don't cry. I was looking at their faces, and the kids seemed to be upset. I was thinking about how beautiful the fish were in the ocean. And now they were on a plate. It was delicious. It was absolutely out of this world. Mm. Mm -hmm. We were trying to teach her a little bit about the vegan lifestyle, and it would have been nice if she could have hung in there with our diet. I'm, I'm so glad I made that decision. I, like, that was the best decision I made since I've been on this trip. This morning, I went to the market to buy alligator meat. I decided I was going to make the Cajun gumbo. I can't wait for Jim's family and friends to try Cajun food. I knew that I better start this gumbo right away because gumbo takes a while. But the kids didn't want nothing to do with it because of the meat. Then I opened up Barbara's cabinet and saw a paper that said, no meat is to be eaten in this home. I just discovered this, what your mom has written here. Read that to me. No. No animal flesh and eaten here. In this home, a animal or not, I, I can't I'll read it. No animal flesh is eaten here. In this home, animals are not considered as meat. Meat is obtained in every instance by violent means, and that is not in keeping with the spirit of our home. Well, here I knew for a matter of fact that she didn't want nobody to cut or prepare any meat in her home. You know what that means? Uh, that means we have to cook a vegan gumbo. We're gonna have to change plans here. 
So at that point, when I made the decision not to cook the alligator meat, no, we're gonna make a gumbo, but we're gonna go ahead and make it vegan style. Would you care to help me make it? Matt, come here. The new mom decided not to cook the meat stuff. Let me just do this, just this once. <laughs> you gonna let your hair grow out like this someday? Since I've gotten here, I have tried to make suggestions and to influence them and lead them, you know, on a, on, on a different path. I can only, you know, hope and pray that these changes will take hold with time. Did you brush your teeth? Did he brush his teeth? Let me check. Put your, put your mouth up there. You did not brush your teeth. Did you brush your teeth? Well, you didn't brush them good enough. Go brush them some more. Tooth check. You have to do a really good job. Go brush them some more. I brushed my teeth, did everything I had to do, but she didn't listen to me. My new mom was so frustrating. Stay focused. Are you paying attention? Are you not listening? Put it down. Okay, put it down. Just don't touch it. Don't touch it because it's art. Hush, you're being rude. I'm talking. Monkeys, you have to change to IES. You need to listen, honey, because I know. That's your last warning. You know how big I feel right now? Just big. the line deep down inside I was really worried about ZZ <laughs> I'm gonna go check on him you know what I think ZZ needs discipline kids need discipline they want it it's tough to be a good parent it means you gotta put up with the crying and put up with the whining and it's much easier to be a bad parent and just let the kids treat you like a doormat for a totally different reason. You miss your mom? So you don't know what you got until you ain't got it no more, right? I miss Diana, but ZZ messes up way more than me. And she's coming back, though. I miss my mom. I just want to go back to my old life. and cry. Get it all out. Serious, listen to me. I know what I'm talking <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be all right, man. You with your daddy. I love you. we're going to manage to mix both cultures. I struggled with the process of cooking this vegan gumbo. I need to put some more spices in. It was like an experiment that had a chance of not being good. Yeah. Are you all vegan? Yeah, we are. Our whole, our whole family. Yeah, so yeah. I tried to make a vegan gumbo. It's got veggie strips in it that we eat. Nothing gave its life in that. No blood was spilled. <laughs> I thought it tasted really spicy. It's got a real peppery, uh, is that the peppers from? The vegan gumbo didn't exactly work out. I can't get that flavor off my tongue. 
Do you have pets at home? Yeah. Yep. Mostly alligators. What's that? Mostly alligators. They're your pets? Yeah. Oh, so you don't hurt them then? You're, oh, it's not no. for shoes or purses no, or... No, no, no. Uh -huh. All regulated by the federal government. Is I was in the process of giving her the explanation of what I do, but before I could get her to understand why that's my business, Lucy brought in the head. When the kids brought the heads in, I didn't want really anything to do with it. I don't care for stuffed heads. That's the only product I have in my gift shop. Because, to me, I'm recycling the byproduct mm. of an animal that's going to be harvested. Anyway. Well, then, you could say that wearing leather shoes that's Would a byproduct. Yeah, but you just right, but you have to make a stop somewhere. You have to sure. make a stop somewhere. Make us, being that she is an activist and our lives are so different. I was kind of on the defensive. We have a lot of rattlesnakes up here. And we, we do catch and release with the rattlesnakes. That's what I do. When yeah. my neighbors have snakes, they call me and I go get them. But I killed the poison ones. Why is it so hard to let things live? Well, in my case, the poison ones would kill my son. It's too easy to kill. So we've got to work with them. Don't you think so? I do release the ones that aren't poisonous. You should take the poisonous ones five miles into the bayou. If our neighbors have snakes, they call us and we come get them. And we put them in a trash can and we take them out in the open space. That's what I do. But something I did want to ask you, you also let go of the flies and the spiders before you kill them. So what do you do about the, the black widow spiders? We do kill those. Because we, of the well, same reason. Well, mainly, I think that they're more likely to get bit by a black widow than a rattlesnake. I mean, yeah, just happens in my neck of the woods, they're more likely to get bit by the poisonous snake. Debbie and Morgan were preaching tolerance for all animals. But they had an intolerance for people who didn't have the same beliefs. It was a pretty intense situation. Oh, you guys out to, the, out to the car. Yeah. It's been a long week. I miss the bayou. I miss the fish. I miss the snakes. I miss the alligators. I miss the crawfish. I miss the gumbo. I so miss my family. We're having a party tonight, and so I'm going to prepare some yummy, scrumptious vegan food for the family and close friends. Okay, do you want to help me, sweetie? Well, or I should rephrase that. You need to help me. When I was preparing some foods with ZZ, there was a very bad odor in the kitchen, worse than usual. It smells like chicken poop or something out there. What is that? No way. Ugh. Bad bear. That crazy dog peed in the house. He has to know that that's not okay. He's gotta learn. So I couldn't let him get away with it. No. Hey, bear, no pee. I stuck his nose in the pee, and I said, no, bear, and I gave him a little swat. He barely felt it. No. Do you think he's getting it? Bear. Bear. God, this is a strong little dog. No pee. under the impression it started at 7.30, but my guests were arriving at 6.30. That is just like the rudest thing. You're early. You're like an hour early. I have never in all my life had somebody show up an hour early for a party. Oh, it's only a half an hour. You know, the party really isn't until 7.30. It's just things are more casual here. They, they don't pay attention to clocks as much, I guess. I could have bought you some chicken gumbo. Not here, not tonight. No chicken uh, here tonight. <laughs> All animal free. We're going to try little veggie burgers. You know what? I'm going to pass it around so everybody tries one. Will you try a veggie burger? Be brave. Come on. You look like you're brave. Don't be a chicken. She cooked a lot of vegetarian food, and it was totally different. It wasn't the material we usually eat. 
want to try the chickenless chicken? Okay. No? Okay. The food that we ate tonight, the vegan, vegan food or vegetarian food, tastes like cardboard. I don't like mustard. Okay, okay. I never they did when I was your age either. Yeah. They're veggie burgers made with soy, which fights right. cancer. Regular burgers yeah. cause cancer. This fights cancer. I it's like good stuff, it. you guys. I'm telling you, it's a little more expensive, but you're worth it. I mean, you're worth it. Your health is worth it. <laughs> I'm not a wildlife expert. I just know I love animals enough that I just don't want to kill them. You say if, okay, we was to stop killing gators, the population of alligator would get so high that they would eat other things. Could be swimming in the bayou, eat you. Well, if I'm swimming in the bayou, then they have every right to eat me. Like, you live here because you love it here. You love the nature. Right. Why are we going out and killing it? Right. Why live? If you don't like it, move. Right. Because there's lots of places where there aren't gators. Anyways, you guys ready for a movie? I had brought a video about animal rights. And not that I'm trying to convert them necessarily, but so that they don't view me as this crazy lady. Do you have popcorn? I don't. You won't be in the mood to eat while you watch it. Or a chicken, what do you see? For literally billions of people, these animals represent one thing, dinner. But you should see more than a meal waiting to happen. Look deeper, and you'll see a creature with feelings and a soul. Barbara showed everybody when an animal act right, animal act right, whatever you call it, they didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Do we really think that, that chickens don't dream of a better life? Creatures of this planet were killing a little bit of ourselves. I'm not really into all what she's into, you know, all this animal activists and all this stuff. I don't think nobody was ready for that. First fatal. No animal needs to give up its life, so I do. Animals are not thoughtless. We are not Everybody seemed real uncomfortable about Barbara, even though they don't say nothing about it. Most people are really scared of her. They are our brethren. <laughs> we decided to go back to BNCs. I think ZZ wanted a break from Barbara's health food. To be honest with you, having Barbara stay here, I was real uncomfortable about it, and it's not a pleasant experience. Do you pull the chair out for Diana? Yep. Do you? Mm hmm Always? Well, no, pull the chair out for me, then. I don't get that treatment at home. Barbara lives a totally different lifestyle, and she talks all the time about the animals. I don't have the warm, cuddly feelings towards alligators that I have towards cows and pigs and even your chickens. Because alligators would kill me if they had the chance, and a cow wouldn't. Right. But again, if I don't have to eat the alligator, I'm still not going to eat it. And I wouldn't be, a, a and I'm, you know, I'm going to take that statement back, because I'm genuinely curious. They serve a greater purpose to kind of like help. think of like an alligator like a shark. So I don't have as much sympathy for those animals as I do necessarily for a vegetarian mammal like a cow or a lion or whatever. Because I stayed with them for a week, I wanted to experience the Cajun experience and connect with my Cajun family. All right, give me something weird. Wait, what is this? The alligator. That's the alligator? You know what? Maybe I'll even try a little piece, just to prove that I'm an open-minded person. Actually, I don't think you can become a vegan or vegetarian unless you're open-minded. But if I take a little bite of that, I'd probably go home later tonight and cry. <laughs> well, you don't have to bite it, then. But I might. Barbara's a vegetarian, but I think deep down inside, she really wanted to try the alligator. My friends back home might not understand this, but we're all on our own individual path. This will be the first time that I've eaten an animal in 
<laughs> when I put it like that, everything changed. It's a reptile, not a mammal. No, I'm here. God, I had no idea this reaction would come out. So this is the alligator. That's good. <laughs> All right, well, that was no big deal. I did something that a lot of my friends at home are gonna really be upset about, but I don't regret it. I have my own reasons. You know what, I want you to know that I always told my kids if we were starving and we had to eat the neighbor's dog, we would. <laughs> but that is the... Really? Would you, you would starve instead of eat a dog? Totally, yeah. You have such a huge heart. I was pretty surprised that Barbara would eat a dog because she has a big con heart for animals. Yeah, I want you to think about this. Would you eat your snapping turtle and would you eat your pet frogs? <laughs> Just think about Oh, you would? But not a dog. What's the difference? A frog is a frog, but a dog is a man's best friend. I'm going to miss you. Thanks for the good times. I am so gonna remember you. My new mom was so frustrating. I'm sick of it. I am so happy that my real mom's coming back. I am so happy. I'm ecstatic about going home. Getting through this week has been an ongoing nightmare. I just want to get out of here, make a clean break. I started writing a letter to Diana. Really just wanted to express in detail to her the experience I had. I'm not at peace if I'm not being outspoken about things. I wanted to say goodbye to them. But when I got up early this morning, Nobody in the family said goodbye. Bye-bye. Lucy, I want a hug and a kiss. I'm really grateful for the entire experience. Okay, Jack, I know you don't like kisses. I don't think they'll ever forget me. And I sure will never forget them. I love y'all. I really like Mrs. Lou and I didn't want to leave because I think I'm going to get in trouble more when my mom comes home. I'm meeting Diana today, and there are some things, some subjects I want to talk to her about. You know, I've taken parenting classes, and I think that Diego and Diana have made some mistakes. I don't feel like I can just not say anything. I have to confront her head on. I feel a little nervous, a little apprehensive. I kept a journal about this experience, and I need to tell her the truth. The truth hurts, and the truth... <laughs> I'll set you free, so I'm gonna be honest with her. It's a very delicate situation when you're going to confront somebody. I really have to, like, take a breath and think about how I'm going to handle it. I don't really know what to expect. My plan is to just walk up and let her have the first reaction. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I give you a hug? I was hoping that you was going to be a good person and kind. Diana was wearing gold chains and the polyester leopard animal print. Her taste is very flashy and a little, a little outdated. But I think people in Louisiana are just a little behind people in California. So, you know, 
What would you think of my vegan food? I loved it. You know, I went all the way vegan. I made a vegan Cajun gumbo for your family. Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can make anything vegan. You can make anything well, vegan. Well, I found that out, and I decided to respect you and not cook a real one, and I, and I improvised and made it vegan. Making a vegan gumbo just rocks my world. I'd like to believe that my values of veganism influenced Diana for the better. Yes! Yeah, I knew it had to be hard to leave your family. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> what? I love Lucy and Jack. Oh, they were so cool. Really? We had fun. Did you? Yeah. So I, I want to use this as a segue. Good. Because I want to say, I, there's okay. a few things I want to say. Actually, I took notes. I journal. Do you journal at all? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I journaled in the car. I had so many thoughts coming into my mind, and I could be wrong, but I got the impression that um, ZZ is a little bit um, depressed. I want to hear him laugh more. Yeah, and I don't laugh. Funny laugh. Does he have an awesome laugh? I can't remember hearing him laugh. Oh, that's a pity because he, he, he really laughs. He chuckles. You know, maybe you didn't allow him to have a good experience. And no, 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 no. You know what I think CZ needs is a lot more communication and, and meals. I think meals are sacred. I feel like Cajun people need so much fried food. What we put in our bodies is the foundation for everything to come. It's, it's... That's a segue for me to tell you that I was open to your culture. I'm sorry you wasn't. But I was hoping that you'd be able to, to at least be open you know what? because... Did I interrupt? I'm no, that's sorry. okay, because I'm thinking if you can be open, you can learn from our culture as well. She was so opinionated and judgmental that it clouded her vision to the extent that she couldn't even put some of that passion on the side for just a moment to enjoy my beautiful family. I guess I got to give you this and... Yes, please do. I'm <laughs> just, I'm going to just... Take a step. <laughs> I guess this is it. Yeah. I don't think I got to tell Diana everything I needed to tell her. I think that she'll learn a lot when she goes home and reads the letter I wrote. The okay. most important that you treated my family right. And I tried. Yeah. I tried to do my best. Yeah, it's good. This morning, the rain started coming in, hot and heavy. And sure enough, the, the main road up to our house was closed. Not very good welcome home weather. I made a reservation at the hotel down here by the airport, and so we didn't take any chances. That way, Mom wouldn't get stranded when she flew in and not be able to get back home. That's a nice hotel. Whoa, that's cool. you guys and it's kind of major turns out 
I decided how they're spending their $50,000 based on what I observed. So do you get the twist? Who do you think decided how we're going to spend it? That's right, your Cajun Mary Poppins. This is what I wanted to tell y'all what happened while I was down there. You know the $50,000 that we were supposed to get? Well, they made a twist, but I didn't see that coming. The twist is that the lady has to tell us how to spend our $50,000. So she wrote it down on a card somewhere. I have it in my suitcase, and I had to write well, her bring a bring it out. I want to see it. When I found out that Barbara was going to spend our money, I really wanted to see the letter. Give me, give me, give me. I want to read it. I want to read it. He was worried that he had misbehaved because I had told him if he behaved for his new mama, I would get him a mud boat when I got back. So he was a little worried because he was still wanting that mud boat. Okay, here we go. Okay. Dear Diego and Diana and Zizi. Oh, good. This ought to be good. This ought to be good. 3000 will go to charitable organizations. What I wish for you is a vacation. I hope 4000 is enough to make all your vacation dreams come true. Okay. All right. Me? Nope, nothing for you yet. Take 20000 and buy two new eco engines for your tour boats. And you need a new roof. I think that will be somewhere in the area of 12000 I'm scared because Barbara ain't gonna give me anything I wanted. For Diego's parents, please share. 5700 That's it. I used up all the money, so that's it. Yes, I will cry. Because I'm not gonna get my mud boat on nothing. Wait, wait, one split second. Okay, Zizi. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I won't make you wait any longer. <laughs> you get two thousand dollars for your read it right here. Now listen, whatever's on here, we're gonna choose to be happy, right? Okay. I mean it. If there's any tears, you don't get any lettuce wraps. Dear Barbara and family, I would like to give Lucy and Jack each a thousand dollars. They both said they really wanted an electric scooter. You still have to earn the merit points before you can buy it. I would like to give the family eight thousand dollars for a trip to Mexico or Hawaii. Yeah. Woo! And I would like to give Jim $5,000 for the orchard. Orchard. He wants to plant on your adjacent lot. Wow. $5,000. Sorry, man. Lucy. $5,000 for a well to give his orchard plenty of water. 10000 of our 50000 is going to that? She must have liked what our yard. What the hell did you talk about when I was gone? <laughs> Are you? Did you talk about that? $10,000 for uh, some trees and a well. And it's not, we don't even have that much property. It's just nothing I ever thought about. I would like to give the family 10000 for a jacuzzi. Holy Mac. I, I told her that. I'm starting to get an ill feeling. I told her that, Mommy. Guess what? You know, this isn't funny. I told her I've always wanted a jacuzzi. Well, you got it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you'd like it. Uh, Mom? No, I'm not. Mom? I'm not, I'm not happy about that. Mom! <laughs> but I said nobody could cry. You know, it's typical because they spend their money on Corvettes and motorcycles and jacuzzis. Hey, you get to go to Hawaii. What are you crying about? You're right. It, it'll be great. It will it'll be, be great. great. And this is not what I expected. It'll be great. I do love a jacuzzi. I get to pick where it goes, okay? Why? Of course, sweetie. You're in charge, remember? I want one of those 
pretty little showers to go with it. Okay. Okay. Daddy's gonna buy that shower for me. Okay. And Barbara, I haven't met you, but as the women and the stronghold of the family, I would like you to have the remaining oh twenty thousand. <laughs> what did I say? All those tears for nothing. Yeah. Diana. Yeah. I found a letter that Barbara wrote. Now I wanted to really make it clear that things needed to change in this family. Care to read it? Yeah. I'm really nervous about it. the letter that Barbara wrote because Barbara came here with a negative attitude and a real hostile attitude. Dear Diana, about ZZ, he is a handsome, no, he is a handful at times. I believe his behavior should, could improve. More than discipline, he needs love and attention. But he needs his mom and her soft, nurturing gift the most. Now that bothers me. Barbara doesn't understand. Diana and Zizi's perfectly happy. I think Zizi's tough exterior is a natural reaction to hurt. And the hurt comes from me needing to spend more time from, with him. All right, Mama, wait, wait, wait. I know I didn't cry for you that day, but when you left, I cried an hour. <laughs> and I heard you cried for me, so I ain't the only one that's going to be embarrassed. I really feel like Barbara was you know, kind of looking for some things to, to advise on, which is okay. Some people have that in their nature. But Barbara just ran out of things to say. She, she just, she just didn't get to know me yet. She's, oh. I got the shock of the century for you. This is gonna come as a shock. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. You're kidding. Mom, why'd you eat alligator? Yeah, the matriarch uh, ate some uh, alligator meat. You know, I guess just when you start thinking you know somebody, they surprise you. I'm mad at her because she's always taught me not to eat meat, and then she did it. So what uh, uh alligator taste like? good you know it it, I, it tasted like grease and salt eight years of being a vegan and walking the line and, and preaching it for her to take a bite she's gonna have to do some fast no, talking no no it was just like you know what i'm here i want to understand it i want to you know i want to i i don't have any explaining to do i did it for how my they, own reason how, you know? what was the reason um there's so many reasons. You wanted to fit in down there or what? You know, well, for one thing, I figured alligator was not as bad as, like, obviously pork or cows. Hang on a minute. Look, you do yours and I'll do mine. Rub their belly. I'll put him asleep already in one, one touch. I'm a very happy person, and my family are very happy people. I don't want to dwell on the negativity. Every individual has their own journey to live, and they're accountable for that in the end. As far as I see where my journey's going, it's going to be right here on the bayou where I've always been. He's gonna be doing all the things that I've always done. No, see how the gator's coming? Where the gator's at? Look over there, he's coming. You know, when you miss your family, it just makes you appreciate your own life all the more.